For Germans lured to Texas by the writings of Friedrich Ernst or Detlef Jort, reality hit hard when they arrived. Turned out, riches didn't fall into their lap. They could grow crops or carve furniture, but that didn't mean they could find buyers. And contrary to tales of year-round perfect weather, Texas winters could be bitterly cold. But still, many accepted the challenge. Dr. Ernst Kopp, a famous geographer, left academic life in Europe to become a Texas farmer and rancher. I depart voluntarily from my teaching position. I leave Germany exchanging comfort for toil, the familiar pen for the unfamiliar spade. But I will be a free man in a free earth. Thankfully, Germans viewed hard work as virtuous. Fittingly, one of the very first German settlements in Texas was literally called industry. It was like the old German proverb, pray as though no work could help, and work as though no prayer could help. Many German communities initially struggled, but soon succeeded through thrift, discipline, and hard work. Crop yields from German farmers sometimes doubled that of other farmers. The Aldersverein, the group of German nobles sponsoring immigration to Texas, carefully planned out early settlements like New Braunfels and Fredericksburg, down to what skills were needed and how many tradesmen to send. The German Texans brought an efficiency to farming and ranching, applied craftsmanship to carpentry and stonework. German-made furniture could be seen in homes throughout the region. German-language newspapers flew off the printing presses. Civil engineer Gustav Schleicher helped create the state railroad system. Robert Eustus Kleberg Jr., the son of one of the first German Texans, became one of the state's most prominent cattle ranchers. Germans didn't recreate Germany in Texas. They took things that already existed here and used hard work, creativity, and scientific methods to make them their own. Mm -hmm.